So thanks everyone for, for coming this morning. Uh, my name's Jack Archer, I'm the CEO of the Regional Australia Institute and we're uh, leading this forum. We're thanks to um, the Department of Infrastructure for providing us with the venue and their support for the project. Today's really about uh, social infrastructure as you know and, and sharing some of the things that we've learnt so far in a project looking at how it contributes to regional development but also learning from you and your experiences. So we've got a really interesting group of people in the audience today. Um, people have come from a long way, so thank you. People from WA, uh, people from Queensland who've been able to come and join us. So that's, um, that's wonderful and thank you for those who've made the effort to come a long way this morning. Uh, what we've got this morning is a, a bit of a split format. We've got some um, presentations and uh, a short panel discussion for the first part and then a much more interactive part for the second half of the day where we'll really be starting to test your ideas and get your thoughts on the social infrastructure question. At the end of today, we want to get a couple of things out. Um, an action sheet for practitioners on how to make the most of social infrastructure and regional development. What we've heard is that there's a real need for a bit of clarity around how to, to grapple with this issue. Um, it's much more difficult than economic infrastructure to include in our, our plans for regions to make decisions between competing priorities to make the case for what kind of projects are really going to make a difference to your place. So we hope to really have a, a practical action sheet that people can use in their practice around regional Australia. Uh, this is also part of a wider project uh, we're doing with support of the Department of Infrastructure and Regional Development and there will be a range of products from that and a final report towards June. So, so far we've been doing a lot of background work. We've done a survey, which I, I know some of you have contributed to, and Leone, who's led the project for us, will uh, share the results of that as well. So, uh, a really exciting thing. We, we've also been talking to a whole range of decision makers and different people around regional Australia, and I think the common, the common theme is that we know this one's important, but we also know that when we just don't have the information, the approaches to, to do as good a job as we'd like to, and that's that's at the local level, that's at the regional level, and that's also, also for government, state and federal. You know, this is a challenging um, issue. And so from the Institute's perspective, we're, we're not claiming that we're going to be able to solve that issue. Um, I think that's going to take a lot of work over a lot of time, but we really hope this project will help to take the next step. So to get started for today, um, bios for speakers are on the back of your agenda, so I won't spend a long time introducing everybody. Uh, but I just want to introduce Catherine Geiger. Uh, she's the General Manager of Regional Economic Policy here in the Department of Infrastructure, our host for today. Uh, Kat's been a wonderful uh, partner and supporter of the Institute and we have a, a great ro working relationship with the Department which is, which is really important for the Institute. Um, and uh, Kath is just going to give us a, a bit of an overview of the Department's perspective on the project and, and what they're hoping from today. And so that'll be a really important way to start things off. So over to you Kath. Thank you. 